Next, learn to put your opponent on a hand. This is probably the number one skill in poker. By that I mean is, try to figure out what his down cards are. Now you do that in a number of ways. You watch and see how he plays a pot. You see if he's raising, if he's betting on this street, if he's checking on the next street. You try to figure out if he's got a hand or if he's on a draw. Believe me, putting a player on a hand is the vital skill in becoming successful at poker. Just think of this. If the, your opponent's cards were face up instead of face down, even the most novice player in the world could beat the world champion if they could see his cards. Your job at the table is to try to figure out what your opponent has. Try to guess what his two down cards are. And you do that by practicing. And I mean practicing and practicing. Whether you're involved in a pot or not, watch the action and try to guess what a guy has. You'll be amazed at how good you'll get at that skill over time. We talked early about position in poker. Remember, we said in real estate, everything is location, location, location. In poker, it's position, position, position. Remember, when you're in early position, you have to have a stronger hand to come into the pot than when you're in late position. The reason for that is because you still got nine guys to act behind you and you don't know what they have. If you're in late position and everybody's folded in front of you, essentially all you've got to get by is the two blinds so you can come in with a weaker hand. But playing position successfully is a key to being a winner at poker. Let's talk a little bit about bluffing. The first thing you should understand about bluffing is A, that it's an art form, and B, if you're playing low limit poker, you're better off to throw it out of your repertoire. The best tip I can give you about bluffing is don't try to bluff bad players. They don't know any better. They're going to call anyway. If you're going to make a bluff, figure out who the toughest players at the table are Bluff those guys. They will lay down a good hand. Another tip about bluffing, don't try to bluff if you can only bet $2 on the river, for example, and there's 40 or $50 in the center of the pot. Somebody's going to call you. So you have to use common sense when it comes to bluffing. Another thing you want to do when you play poker is what we call change gears. That means vary your style of play. You don't always want to play like a rock, real tight, for example, and wait for aces and kings, because everybody at the table will eventually figure that out. And when you finally come into a pot, you won't get any action. At certain points when you're playing, you want to speed up play, play a little looser, a little more aggressive, and then you want to flip-flop it and play a little tight, a little solid. Fluctuate your play. The key to being successful at poker is keeping your opponents off balance. Don't let them know what you have. I'm often asked when I travel around, What's the strongest play that you can make in poker? Well, in No Limit Hold'em, I'm very convinced that the strongest play you can make is what we call coming over the top. 